Hey, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Monica Garcia. Governor Katie Hobbs delivering her first state of the state as a legislative session begins today in Phoenix. So News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink is live at the Tucson Convention Center tonight with some of those highlights from the governor's speech. Eric, what can you tell us? Well, good evening to you both, Monica Sean. The governor will be here at the TCC tomorrow, giving a version of her state of the state to Southern Arizona. And in her first state of the state up at the state capitol to state lawmakers today, Governor Hobbs says she wants to work with Republicans. That is her desire as they control both houses of the state legislature. In her first state of the state, Governor Katie Hobbs says she will protect public education. That begins with calling a special session to lift the school spending cap in the coming weeks. The school spending cap is more than four decades old, and if it's not raised, public schools could lose more than $1 billion in funding by March 1st. The governor also pledged to put $150 million towards curbing homelessness. The governor also says she will protect access to abortion, and she warned the Republican-controlled legislature not to send bills to her desk that limit reproductive rights. I And with Arizona voters passing Prop 308 in November to uh, give Dreamers access to public colleges and universities at the same tuition rates as other Arizonans, Governor Hobbs saying that her budget that's coming out on Friday will include $40 million to go in a scholarship fund to make sure Dreamers and other Arizonans pay those same rates in in-state tuition to our public colleges and universities. Now, coming up at 10 o'clock, I will have more on the K through 12 education spending cap and how it affects you and your family and how the governor plans to work with the state legislature to make sure to raise that cap by the deadline of March 1st. We're live at the TCC tonight. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.